In the Rosha Montana region of neighboring Romania, plans are underway to open the biggest open pit gold mine in Europe. Should the project of the Rosha Montana Gold Corporation go ahead, the surrounding mountains will be carved into four enormous mining pits, and a nearby valley will be transformed into a dam of cyanide lace tailings, an enormous environmental liability in case of design failure that could far surpass the disaster in Hungary. Environmental concerns are not the only ones driving the opposition. The village of Rosha Montana is one of the oldest mining sites in the world, where precious metals have been continuously extracted underground for almost 2,000 years. The grandeur of the Roman Empire was bankrolled with local gold, and some of the original galleries are still preserved, offering invaluable treasures to archaeologists and historians alike. People like the local farmer Eugene David have other ideas for the region and have proposed various alternatives to industrial mining like cultural and environmental tourism, small-scale farming, beekeeping, and artisanal mining. Andrea Gruber, the owner of a local hostel, whose family used to be one of the most famous and richest mining families in the region before the communists took everything in 1948, also believes that there is a future in tourism. A potential inclusion in the UNESCO World Heritage List would further boost the appeal of the region, especially if the site is managed well. Still, other locals, like the 46-year-old geologist Vadan Marcel, who works for the company, look at such alternatives with skepticism and believe that without investments in mining, there is no future for Rosha Montana. In such a polarized environment, it is very difficult to imagine that the case of Rosha Montana would be resolved anytime soon. Neither side is willing to give up, and in the final run, no compromise seems possible. <laughs> Die to